nano variable 120 at 20 knots. Okay. I heard it's your last delivery. You heard it right. It's holiday time for me. Any Christmas plans? Speaking of Christmas, could I have a picture of yours? What for? I want to show Santa what I want for Christmas. <laughs> really? That's for me? You like what I said. How do you know? I know because I'm picturing us together right now. Doing what? We are going down! Lying amongst the vast oceans is a place unbeknownst to you. A place that is far from the reach of mainlanders. A place where many had tried to reach but failed. The very few who reached were blessed with a gift, a chance at survival. Here the weak will perish and the strong will live on forever. There is no easy walk to freedom from here but a long wait for the end. chance a guy landed up here short dark red t-shirt I've not seen anyone here for quite a while now <coughs> oh god no he must have been here by now uh, wait quite a while how long have you been here man how did you get here? We are trying to figure out what happened. All I really know is that our boat got stuck into really, really bad weather. What were you doing in a boat in the middle of the ocean? We are part of this research team. We are trying to find this landmass that was never verified. They call it the Phantom Reef. Well, you are at the right place. Good to know that I'm in the middle of nowhere. You sure haven't seen anyone else here? We can have a look in the forest if you want. We'll do that, but in a while. Let me show you the way. Wait! Oh. Wait! Wait up, man! Jeez! 
Are you hungry? I'm starving, man. I'll cook something then. They say, whenever you are at the brink of starvation, God always sends you, in His infinite mercy, a nice plump missionary. But God is dead here. God remains dead here. So does everything that looks alive. It's like you are trying to survive in a place where the only thing that breathes is you. The funny thing about survival is that not all survivors are always the strongest, but they are almost always the luckiest. This is the sorest fucking soup that I've ever had in my life. How the hell you drink this thing, man? I don't know. This forest seems unusually quiet. Aren't there any animals here? I've been here a few months, and during my brief stay, I have not seen anything move other than the trees, which occasionally dances through the storm. How the hell do you survive then? The island provides. I don't think you're making any sense, man. Do you know this island was once called the Isle of Demons? Demons? Do you believe in demons, my friend? I'm afraid not. It's believed that a young woman named Marguerite was thrown off to this island by her husband as a punishment. Punishment for what? She and her husband were sailing as a part of their honeymoon. Little did the husband know that she was in love with a sailor in the same ship. But when he knew, he killed the sailor. 
and through the mother, who was now conceived with a baby, off to this very island. You're saying this island is haunted? No. I'm just telling you a story. Well, I'm here to get my friend and get the living hell out of this godforsaken island. The rains are here, it seems. You said you live alone here, but I think you're lying, man. Let's say there have been a few people here before. And where are they? Dead. Dead how? I ate them. This is my favorite place. Calm and serene. In the years I've been here, little or nothing has changed. Other than the people who land up every now and then. I have no use for people. People are stupid. Their whole life they chase behind happiness, respect, admiration, love and what not. To me, they're mere creatures who are victims to manipulations by the very people they trust. <laughs> Sad. But not anymore. Things are a little different now. I respect them nowadays. You see, this island is ridden with greenery. But none of it can be consumed. No fruits, no animals, no birds, no trees, no nothing. Then he would ask me, how did I survive? Every now and then this island would provide me with people like you. I'm thankful that we... Scared. Fear is cheap, my friend. I've learned that during my stay here. But I'm not going to tell you. There's nothing to be frightened of. But if you're my food, how am I supposed to be merciful to you? <laughs> Don't affect me no more. I'm resilient, I guess. I'm no stranger to this island and its ways. Why? Is it that hard to understand? Is this that fucking hard? Look around you. There is no escape from this island. Nothing leaves this island. Nothing. You don't have to do this. Our ship should have sent a search party by now. They would be here any time. We both can get out of here. Oh, trust me, my friend. There ain't no search party coming for you. 
This island is hidden from the world you come from. And I must say, you and your friend have been a blessing at this time of the year. Oh, wait. Yeah. Your friend. Bastard! Oh. 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 The trick is to oh. preserve it before the body starts to rot. No smoking oh. is a nice option. But it's tedious and takes a lot of time. No salting yeah. works too. Neat and easy. But the best way to keep a body preserved is to keep him alive! The potion that you drank last night, it will paralyze you. When administered twice every day for two days, by then you essentially slip into a coma. Until you make yourself useful. Just like your friend. It's time that he makes himself useful. You're sick! Fuck! You bastard! I'm gonna get you, man. Ugh. You sick fuck. I'm gonna get you. Bastard! There comes a time when you have to choose between turning a page and closing the book. I chose the latter.
You see, the goal of all life is death. If you die, you are in a bliss, total bliss. But what's after that? The only thing you can hope for is a change, a chance at becoming someone else. Get here. We crashed through a switch of man. What happened to Bot? How long and far I've drifted, I've no clue. I was at the mercy of wind and waves. I was stranded alone in the ocean. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was I kicked the water hard. the guy, the one with the red t-shirt, uh, I always forget his name. <laughs> Rani. Uh, uh, yeah, Rani. He's probably somewhere in the shelter right now. So you have a shelter here? That's, that's great! Come on! <laughs> I feel I'll die from thirst, my friend. Let's go to your place then. We should be headed towards the shelter right now. Come, let me show you. Life is filled with random patterns that we will never be able to decipher. Because in the world we live in, there are no variables. There is only the inevitable. Isn't vicinity. 